So, I've been sick for the past couple days, and whenever I'm sick, I really don't think clearly. I guess I really don't think clearly anyway, but I think less clearly, apparently. Because I was at work last night, and I kept messing up things that I knew how to do. I could do it perfectly any other day of the week, but I could not get anything right last night. And it got to the point where a coworker of mine came up to me and just said, John, what is wrong with you? Did you get, like, dropped on your head as a kid? And normally, for, like, most of you, that wouldn't really hold any weight. You could just let it roll off. But I actually was dropped on my head as a kid. See, my parents had just gotten a new cat when I was about six months old, and they were still training the kitten not to get up on the tables and steal food, things like that. And so my mom was just around the house cleaning, doing her thing, and the cat jumped up on the table. And so she instinctively just dropped what she was doing to swat the cat off. Unfortunately, what she was doing had been holding me. And so as soon as I hit the ground, you know, she felt horrible, and she was sure Child Protective Services was going to come take her kid away. And this isn't to make you think that she's a bad person. She's a very loving person. I love my mom to death. But she just, that was her moment where she forgot I was the most important thing in the world for about three seconds. And also, when I was about nine months old, I was crawling across the bed to get to a nightstand that had an alarm clock on it. I guess I really liked alarm clocks at the time for some reason. But I was crawling across it, and I went to put my hand on the nightstand to get to the alarm clock, and my hand missed. And I actually came down on my jaw and bit all the way through my tongue. And so I ended up having to have stitches in it at nine months old. So I've always found really weird ways to injure myself like that. For example, when I was younger, I always had this thing for falling down stairs. I would literally just be standing at the top of a flight of stairs, start to lean back and do nothing about it and just keep going. And then, a couple years ago, uh, I managed to flip a go-kart over on myself, just riding it around on our, our lawn. And I, we thought I broke my hand. I, it turns out I didn't, but still, it, it, was, it was weird. And then, a couple years ago, I was skateboarding with my friend Ethan, and we wrecked, and Ethan, like, it knocked us both out cold, Ethan had a big knot on the side of his head, he was all bloody, it was cool, and uh, I managed to scrape my forehead off in this section, as well as my nose here, my lip here, and my chin here, and a lot off my arms. And we, we both got knocked out cold, we don't remember bits of it, and we had to go to the emergency room and get CT scans, and uh, the technician said there is brains in there, but they're just underdeveloped. Uh, not damaged, though. And you might be thinking that that was a joke, but that's actually what that technician told my mother. I actually kind of had to bribe her to let her know that there are brains in there. And being the way I am when I get injured is always in a weird, out-of-the-blue way. I get the feeling that I'm going to be the kind of person that does a lot of stupid stuff that should kill me, but I'll probably die by slipping on a pencil. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you laughed at some of my stupid experiences. Uh, if you want, leave a comment explaining a weird way that you got hurt. Uh, I understand a friend of mine in Florida recently got burned on a tailpipe. So if you would comment and let me know how that happened, I'm curious how that went down. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you come back tomorrow for the actual scheduled vlog. I'll see you guys later.